So this is this nest may be small, oh, it's but given a chance, AI it will grow to, to become a sprawling underground a city. A difficulty level that's just silly. Um, playing the leaf cutter, obviously my favourite colony to play and to keep in the, in the real world. Of course, I would love to play the army ants in this game, but due to them not having nests, uh, that's not possible. Uh, they have bivouacs like in the real world so just the nest is just a confidence there is no actual structure to that so we got the first few leaves from here we're going to need somewhere to store them of course so I'll just do that around the queen fungal spores need to be put away from the ants because of course you get a permanent turn this into a chamber. I can see that there is what looks like easy food up here as well. So we'll get that. That'll be another chamber. Meanwhile the uh, analytics will chew on the leaves. get them so we'll clear up these leaves here a little bit here and then we'll move over to these I need to stay in here as long as possible I think I might make this the refuge which is the yeah for the uh, mold So let them do that. That's enough for one more ant. So that's good. We then want them to come up here and get all of them as well. And as soon as we clear out this food, I will start chucking down the refuge. There we go. Very close now. We're also getting close to our food limit, so let's make one more ant to make sure that we can indeed use up that capacity. Actually, it's... that's better. And then we will actually move them from there and start putting in the refuge. Trying to keep them off it as best we can. Don't want them walking on it. Okay, good. So they're bringing that fungus, dead fungus, to the refuge. I really want to get rid of that one piece of leaf. I do not want that there. That'll do it. And then we will now. This colony this must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. That's good. A bit more. Always work from the back so that it works. You get the slow otherwise. Uh, do that and that. And I think that will call that done. physically possible. And I'm going to get them around here because I want to clear this section next because this will make a nice chamber. That is my usual shape of a chamber. I don't know what's in there so this could be a mistake. Let's stop them and get the whole lot to come over. Go. 
The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Many challenges lie ahead for this new society, but if it meets so, them, it could sorry, rise I'm to become a true contender for this patch of the undergrowth. And here. Playing the leaf cut runs is the favourite for me anyway. The army ants are better, but unplayable due to them not having nests. Instead, army ants live in bivouacs. That's not something that came to generate just yet. So, in the meantime, we'll have to continue to play ants that have nests, i.e. this atta colony. I'm not sure what type of atta, but I'm sure it says. I have to see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the three leaves there and the three leaves there. And immediately go outside because, from experience, if I try and break them, the changes. It don't end well. So we've got some food down there. This is going to be my refuge here. So I am actually going to get these to collect the ants. Uh, sorry, the leaves. them I can then create the refuge start it there get another ant put down okay right so that's cleared out so section of ants. There is some free leaves over here. So I'll try and get them. Hopefully won't open any other chambers up. We need a lot more space for the leaves to be stored so This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce and to support greater numbers. Down, yeah. And that's the only free leaves that we can get without having to fight something. So the next thing to do is to break out, I think. And we'll see if we get lucky with a big plant nearby. I'll 
get the whole colony to work on it. I'll put the um, nanotic nursery bonds back. But I knew we was going to get something attacked, so let's see how quick that goes down. Not very. Check to make sure we're going to fast. Got another couple down, that's good. We need to increase the size of this refuge. doesn't actually matter. Because even when we kill it, we can't eat it. What I want is them to concentrate on ripping down this bush. And now I'm going to bring the nursery ones back because we've got nothing actually building the nest. which is good, and I want to make sure that continues, so we'll do that, so, and then I'm going to actually put the highway between, like so. I'm going to get loads of leaves coming in, so this is a good start. for him to go out, and I'm going to turn off attacking. Oh no, we're turning it on to this larvae. So what I'm going to do is build out this way and make this quite a large first chamber of workers because they're getting killed quite quick. progress to get the mm, fungus to grow, which is what we're waiting for, and they keep getting slowed down by having to fight off other insects, 17 strong now, so that should start growing leaves pretty quick. that is but it's what I'm actually gonna do is that yeah that's 
better. And of course, they're not going to be in the refuge. Right, this is full. And that's enough of them. And then move over to the actual media, and which is sort of your next cast up, your soldier ant, but the smaller variant, as opposed to the tank, which of course is the major, or super major as it's actually called. for now so they should be a lot quicker at coming in and out of the nest the refuge really needs to be upgraded so I'm going to use that 100 food just to get that a boost to make sure that we don't hit that it's going to significantly slow them down but I'm not actually using them at the minute, so it doesn't matter. Okay, they've already got casts ready to go. And we can afford one more. And a bit more highway, which will we use to allow them to sort of get in and out as quick as possible. tackle this area here. I don't remember what's in here but I think we can handle it. We're about to find out of course. So I will stop them from covering food and bring them to that point there. same patch we started with. One queen has been eliminated. 
which at the minute for us is just it's more surviving than it is killing anything. And we can get a couple more soldiers down. to make a way over here shortly. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll come down here. And make sure that these all belong to us and that nothing else can get in there to steal the food. I'll just continue to build the soldiers. Refuge is filling up quite quickly. I'll dig that out and give it a bit of more. Leaving that there. Just give it a bit more space. And again, I like to build highways so that it's as quick as it possibly can be. Yeah, we've got 153, so hopefully this is allowed us to fill that in. Perfect, and then another soldier. I've got a fight going on out here. Good. What's this here? That's 1230 is our next start. So I think we're going to tell them to start coming this way. And we'll wipe out this area all of its plants. I would like another brood nest. Uh, I think the best place for that is here. It fits reasonably well. Could bring the army back. Just in case. There we go. That should get annihilated pretty quick. Yeah, that's expected. And then uh, we'll put another one here. And I'll tap into that from there and that from there. Is in here as well. And that gives us plenty of room to expand so they can continue to collect leaves. That's not the easiest thing to kill, but I'm sure we'll manage it. Yeah, excellent, right. And then back to collecting. Lots of food, but the first thing I want to do is create a new brood team to have the base. And then the rest of it can go into soldiers. The workers have done all they can to improve these leaf stores. And then upgrade this highway to make it even faster. It's better. The workers have done all they can to improve this highway. There we go. So we've got a chamber there ready to go. That'll probably use for the super majors. I 
haven't got any of those yet, but we're getting close. Right, perfect. And then... We've now got 26 ants working on the nest. So I can send out much larger armies. Not worry too much about the actual nest falling apart. Gotta get this first section of soldiers out though. These are 150. That's expensive. Okay. two queens left, so that means that there is only one queen for us to defeat to actually win. So the others have been killed by the actual difficult um, world generation. Because we're reasonably lucky up here because we are getting these passive ladybirds, woodlouse. Uh, the coach beetle larvae it is only ever the smaller ones. So that should be too difficult for us to move through. I think we can hopefully finish this now. We can. And then we can build our first super major. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this army over. We're going to get one to carry on there with its super major, but I'm going to send the second lot over here. Okay, okay. So that should give us two streams to come in. Here they go. Anything getting in their way should be eradicated. I would expect, but we shall see. There we go. And then we've got these fighting over here as well. Nothing too difficult. Super Majors will do for now while we get some upgrades done. So we'll get some of these upgraded, and the first one's going to upgrade are these. Because they do most of the damage. That's what they're for. Hence the icon that's red, which means damage dealer. Green being worker, blue being tank. I'm not sure how big their nest is. But it might be worth... Seeing if we can have a cheeky win. Actually, my crying create a 
a cheeky chamber here and get another set of workers. Not workers, sorry. Uh, army. The damage dealers. this up and then I really want to push down sort of to here but they do have a few ants on this way I'm not sure if they're on mine or they're just here to so what we'll do is we'll get them to come and push down this center very strange that the AI will allow itself to be killed by just the environment, to be honest. I haven't seen any ants attacking other ants, so I, don't, I wouldn't expect that that is what happened, but I, I could have missed it. We're now looking at going quite hard into here, and from there I'll probably try and just get to the nest. We should by then have good numbers. extend it like that. food. I can also tell the soldiers not to collect food. I'll just leave the workers collecting the leaves. We can now go in. As soon as they start building up, I can send the soldiers in first. Wait a little while to let them get ahead. And of course, Send in the soldiers after him. There we go, we've unlocked the nest. So I can send the tanks directly towards the Queen and the soldiers with them. I don't think they stand a chance, to be honest. 
This is it when I want a chicken dinner. With each challenge met head on, this colony has proved itself time and time again. Its growth is now unstoppable. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.